Welcome back guys, this is Henry1502 Inc. I'm back and we are continuing with our Code Academy tutorial series. We're diving into, we're doing the strings and numbers. We're still on the first one. And my glasses broke. That's not going to stop me. I just woke up 3.30 a.m. February 5th, I think. Yes, it is. Raven's Day. I still think they cheated. but <laughs> And I actually live in Baltimore. But anyways, um, this is how you work with strings in Code Academy, in Code Academy, not Code Academy. Ah. Um, here we're just seeing what we're probably going to be using. Um, this is an if statement. If 12 divided by 4 equals the length of this, which is 3, and 12, e 12 divided by 4 is 3, it's going to... Um, give you like a confirm it's basically gonna give you a checkbox saying that will this run the first block and of course it's gonna run the first block and if for some reason it doesn't um, you're gonna get a checkbox saying or the second block will this run the first block because 12 divided by 4 is 3 and yeah Moving on, um, we're working with math, and basically what we want to do is we want to make the if statement true, and the first thing we need to do is take care of the syntax and the missing areas, so like push it back here and missing operands found. What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, um, so what's going to make this condition true? So, um, one thing that we could do is very easy, by the way, is say negative five plus, I mean, times two. Oh, true. Dang. Okay, so length of this three times two is six divided by three is one. Should be right. Um and for the if statement, finish the else statement by printing out error error error. What did I do? What did I? And take notice that there are still a lot of mistakes in this code. Um, like for example, this and we didn't have this over here. And I spelled console wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, and this is not, this math is wrong also, so I want you guys to all check your math. I don't know, I kept getting a red X over here by the L saying that, um, they would miss an operand. I, I don't know what's up with that, so I just, I retuck it up and this is what I got. Um... So press run. The answer makes sense because this three times two six divided by three equals two. Um 
Um, next, really, this is pretty simple if you know how to do math. Um, just do pick any. Let's do like four times three. Copy this out. Ninety nine divided by six. Eleven divided by three. Now we just press run. What? 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 What just happened? What just happened, guys? We're about to. That you are all facing. Like, one of the problems that some of you might be doing is actually put in the, the, um, the divide sign. This is not how you find the module. The module it has um, the percent sign. So, like, hold shift. Five, shift five, and again shift five. This is how you find the module, and the module basically says um, it it doesn't go to the decimals because it just gives you a whole number and it rounds it or it, it rounds it off for better or for worse. This is how you find it. So like four divided by three, the closest number um. 3 goes into 4 that's pretty freaking weird um how do I explain oh the module gives you the remainder so like um 3 goes into 14 um has a remainder of 2 and so on and so on and so on you guys can do the math. I'm not going to explain the math. Um, and pretty much here, we want to edit the line to make sure that it is... It doesn't give us um, whether or not we need to make it true, so just have fun with it. I'm going to show you guys what I did. I did 82 module 9 this number is even um I didn't really make a, a statement but who who really cares like it still works <laughs> uh yeah uh so moving on we're working with substrings and substrings are kind of what um every mention website uses so like if you go to check your email it's probably going to use that whoops if you check over here, this is probably a substring, I don't know. Um, what you have to remember to do is this um, under spell it right. Wonderful day um, dot sub string three comma seven colon semi semicolon press run dirt that's what you get from three comma seven zero one two three four five six so it just takes these four numbers over here if you're watching um moving on now for the grand finale they want us to do a ton of things so this is going to take a long time so I'm just going to try to hurry up and do this finish this in a timely manner um just copy a lot of it copy copy um copy January and place it inside the console Melbourne is great. Oh no. Um 
then sub string zero three. Is that right? Um, this should be right. Um, press run. No, it's not. Ah, uh, one, two, three. Okay, so I made a mistake for this one, number, um, number two. It should be zero to thirteen. Melbourne is great. Run it again, and we get a mark. There we go. So, baby, what substrings are? Um, is if you have. A string you get to cut off which part of the string that you want to um, that you want people to see so let's say in January this word is typically one two three four five six seven it's seven letters long but we only want our users to see th three letters so what we start off from is zero remember it starts off from zero zero one, two, and it just basically prints out Jan for us. Melbourne is great. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It prints Melbourne is for us. One, I mean, zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I, I feel weird, and it just prints out hamburger. Um. Oh, I was actually supposed to start from here, but that's pretty much what it does. Um, you guys can play with that when you're writing your code. I think it works really good with HTML. I mean, if you think about it you get to manipulate a lot of your texts saves you a lot of room um, while keeping it informative I guess but add like subscribe comment down below what were you having problems with did I adequately answer your problems and was this helpful this is Henry1502 Inc I'm out